to keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, Chris here from racingbetdata.com. Uh, this video is intended to show you how you can start looking at some of the jockey stats uh, that we've got within our database and how you can export them. Um, I've created a very simple file, which I'm going to uh, give you a demonstration of here. Uh, I've got pivot tables, a bit of analysis. Uh, I've got all the data, so I've exported from the database in four or five separate exports, uh, the full year, so 2022 data, um, unfiltered. And then I have a tab where I use today's data. So just to navigate back to our um, data dashboard, this is where the exported data comes from. And like I said, I've already gone through the process of filtering by year and then breaking this down and exporting by two or three months at a time. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is export just today's data. So I'm going to put that onto today. I'm going to export that to Excel and input it into my Jockey Stats uh, database. Okay, here's the imported data uh, that I've just downloaded for today. Um, and I'm going to show you what I do with that or what you can do with it. Um, so this is a demonstration file really to, to get you a bit more familiar with outputting large chunks of data, um, how we can manipulate it uh, using pivot tables and some Excel formula uh, and potentially take that to the next level, sort of Poisson, Poisson distribution, um, wherever you want to go with it really. So like I said, with this video, they're all intended to help. Uh, people perhaps have different levels of Excel ability and skill. So uh, hopefully this will reach the majority of you and uh, some way or another you'll find it useful. So like I said, this is the, the data for today, all in there. Um, I we'll have a pivot table, a very large pivot table. Um, and what that does, if I just look at the source of the data, so it pulls from the data tab. Uh, and the data tab is the one that contains the 2022 information. Uh, so all the races prior to today that have been uh, completed this year, all in there, and then pulled into a pivot table. And now if I look at the pivot table, what we've got down the side is the jockey name. Uh, and then in the columns, we've got the course and the place, so where the horse finished. And then we've just got a count. Uh, and you can select any one of those um, headers as the count. And what it's doing basically is listing all of the, um, the jockeys down the side here. Uh, so this is all the jockeys that have run within or had a horse running within 2022. Uh, and then we have the courses across the top. And then within each course, you've got a subsection, which is the place. So where uh, the horse that, that jockey was riding finished the race. And then you've got the total down the side in gray. So really easy to set up as a pivot table. Like I said, um, you have the, the field list, jockey, course, place, and then account in there. Uh, and what I've done on the, um, the course is just ensure I've got subtotal of course ticked. So that gives you the gray, gray box down the uh, as a divider between each course. So just as an example, Tom Queeley, we can look at him. You can see that he hasn't had any rides at Ascot uh, this year. Uh, he's had 11, sorry, no rides at Aintree this year. He's had 11 at Ascot, uh, and these are his finish finishing positions. So he hasn't had any winners, but he's had a first, a, sec uh, a second, sorry, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and then three sixths. Uh, and you can scroll all the way across so all the tracks are listed in here because uh, I've covered the whole data set of the range that we selected. And right at the end, you've got the, um, the grand total. So 166 rides Tom, for Tom Queeley this year. Um, and then to go further across, I've just done a smaller breakdown of the um, same pivot table, really, but just taking out the tracks. So taking out the course. Um, if we look at the field list, we've just got jockey place date count and um, that could be any field in there as a count um, and again like I said with Tom Queeley there so what this does is it's not course specific you've got all of his firsts his seconds his thirds uh, and all the way across and again you should see on the far right hand side 166 runs so that tallies it's the same data set there's no reason that will be any different um, and that is where I can keep my main pivot tables and just make sure I refresh those if I add to the data range um, and then we have the analysis tool here. Now, like I said, this I'm, I'm just giving this as a demonstration. Um, I'm not telling you to go out and replicate this. And this is going to, you know, 
create you a, a, an amazing system just by what I'm showing you. What I'm showing you, the intention is to how you can analyze um, the jockey data. You could use trainer data here uh, because it's all contained within the same output. I'm using jockey as an example for no other reason um, than, than that. So like I said, let's uh, have a look at what the, um, the an analysis tab can do once I input a race for today. And uh, let's just pop in here. Uh, let's get the first race. So Brighton at 150. If I copy that information, and then I'm going to paste it in here. So all the headers are in place. So that's the, the, the data for that one race. <clears throat> now you can see this information is previously blank or erroneous. It's now giving us information. So we have a track record, uh, pretty much does what it says. So for this jockey riding the horse, which is Tom Queeley, uh, he has run uh, nine times at this race uh, race course. And then the other is 157. So as you, if you remember from the, the example we looked at a minute ago, he, his total is 166. 166, you can see there down the bottom, nine of which were at Brighton. Okay. Now, how do we get that information in here, you may be thinking? Uh, really quite easy. And what I've done is I've simplified it even more for you. So if we just take the cell, you can click anywhere. I'm just using this as an example and hit the equals uh, key on your keyboard. And then you go to your pivot table and we want to look at Tom Queeley, how many runs he's had at Brighton. So uh, let's scroll along a little bit more. Brighton, Tom Queeley. There you go. And if you just click that cell, it will auto populate and then hit enter. And then you've got your nine. OK, so that's all well and good. But to save time, you know, if you want to drag this down, <clears throat> it's just going to give you 999 because it's hard coded. It's referencing Tom Queeley. It's referencing Brighton. What we do to alleviate that um, is you can click on this little function box and you can see here where it's saying the course must equal Brighton. Uh, we can reference a cell instead. So this cell is Brighton. That's where the race is being run. And then we put the dollar sign in to fix it to that column. And we can do the same for the jockey. Uh, so instead of hard coding Tom Queeley, we select that and change it to the, uh, 02. Put your dollar sign in. It still gives you the 9, but if we were to drag that down, you can see that starts changing because it's now referencing uh, cell C3 and O3 rather than Brighton and Tom Queeley, although the track is still Brighton. So that's what we've done to establish how many uh, runs each jockey has had or rides each jockey has had this year at Brighton and then their overall record. Uh, so what we're doing is then referencing the uh, separate pivot table, the one over here, uh, and getting your 166. And then we're just taking away the, the records that uh, occurred at Brighton to give you your other record. Again, like I said, <clears throat> there's no rhyme or reason for why I'm doing that. I'm just showing you how you can use our exports into a pivot table, and then you can start uh, directly querying that pivot table quite easily with cell references. Uh, and then what I've done, um, we've broken down uh, a points for based on where the, the horse is, uh, the, the jockey that's piloting that horse has finished. So if the, the jockey's won the race, five points, second, four points, <clears throat> and if he's outside the top five, zero points. Um, so you can see here the, the number of um, rides that the jockey's had, and this is specifically at Brighton, the way I've coded this, uh, outside the top five for Tom Queeley, five. Uh, he's had uh, he's had none that have placed fifth, uh, one placed fourth, zero placed third. He's had one placed second, and he's had two winners. So let's just verify that uh, over here. Again, let's highlight Tom Queeley, the row, and we'll go to Brighton. And you can see, uh, as we look here, he's had two first place. He's had one second. He's had no thirds. So that ties up with what we were talking about here uh, and demonstrating. And the way we've done that, again, very simple, uh, just by clicking on the same method that I've done. You've clicked on a pivot table. And the only difference here is we've referenced place as five and place as four. So we've just changed that. And you could even reference it across the top. So you don't even have to change that. You could just drag it if you wanted to. Um, and then the course is equal in C2 and the jockey is O2, as we already shown you just getting the overall record. Um, now, the reason I've done that, again, like I said, I'm, I'm 
I'm not telling you you have to go and do this and assign points to jockeys, but it's just for a demonstration. And if you wanted to create the average, which we've got here on the end here, so you can see the average points that we're assuming a jockey would um, has got so far for riding at Brighton, it gives you a quick visual as to who the better performing jockeys are uh, at this at this track based on my scoring. And like I said, you could then uh, pop this into a Poisson distribution model, um, which you know you could take in to the next degree and start analysing jockeys comparing to other jockeys in the same race, for instance. Um, it's entirely open. It's fluid. So what we're what we're doing and what our role is here is to provide you with the information uh, which we have in our database and a means to export it, which we do for a data dashboard. And then these videos are here to to give a little help. Like I said, we're trying to cover all our membership base. Some people will be really novice at Excel, which is fine, um, and some people will be experts. Now to pitch it at the right level, I think that's what we're doing. You know, showing people how to create pivot tables. Um, there's another layer to this, so you've got power pivot as well. But I think if we were to start using power tools, um, a lot of people would be lost. So we're trying to, you know, appeal to the masses, if you like. Um, now, just to give a final little uh, demonstration of how um, cell referencing is better than hard coding, let's take the next um, course, which is Kempton, and take the races from the first race there, which is the 550, and paste these in. Let's go back to the uh, analysis tab and then let's just do paste values so you can see there's actually more races here so we can just drag this down and like I said we've we've ensured by um, referencing the cell rather than hard coding to the jockey name that the we could just pet, put in another a track another set of jockeys and the information still holds uh, because it's referencing those specific cells rather than um, a, a fixed jockey name. So I'm hoping that this video is of some use to the majority of people, showing you how to export from the dashboard, how to then pivot based on the jockey performance. Like I said, you can do trainer. Uh, where you store the, the, the data and you continually add to that, of course. Um, and then some basic analysis using functions querying the pivot table directly.